Say that three times fast. You won't. Greetings and salutations, friends. This is an Asus UX330U. UX330U. I've already taken some of the screws out prior to deciding to make a video. I would like to note this middle screw here is different. It is longer than all the other screws. But I saved you the trouble of watching me take all of these, uh, what is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine screws out. And you pry up. The question is, can I do it with fingers? No. No, I can't. So it's time to get the metal pry tool that that guy in the comments doesn't like. I now use it just because it annoys that guy in the comments. I really have no need to use the metal pry tool for any other reason than to annoy the guy in the comments. So. Uh, come on, baby. Let me in. Let me in. Mm. So here's a question. Are there screws under the feet? Are there screws under the feet? Because the manufacturers love doing that. There are screws under the feet. Why am I not surprised? <sighs> are there screws under the front feet as well? Let's see. No. I don't think there are screws under the front feet. And of course, the screws under the rear feet... Of course, they're Phillips head. Good old standard number one Phillips. By the way, if you're wondering about this Torx here, pretty sure it's a T7. E T5, it's a T5. It's a teeny tiny T5 Torx. Say that three times fast. You won't. Oh, look at that. It came right up. I wonder if it's because I got all the screws out. Okay. So we have a new battery for this computer. Let's look around in here. M2 solid state drive already installed. This computer has nowhere to put a hard drive. But it does have somewhere to put an SSD. Non-upgradable CPU. Uh, looks like non-upgradable RAM. I don't even see any RAM. Uh, Wi-Fi card is socketed. So yeah, about the only thing you can do to this thing is put a bigger SSD in and replace the battery and that's basically it move this this metal fin here you have to slide it back let me give you a zoom on that actually so you can see more clearly this battery here where'd i go on the camera man this metal fin has to be pushed back to get the battery out the battery actually pries up like that okay and then of course we have screws, a bunch of Phillips heads. There's a Phillips head here. There's a Phillips head down here. And let me get you some rotation. Maybe we can show you this a little bit better. Hold on. Phillips head right here. That's two. There's one here by the front. That's three. Another one by the front, that's four. And the last one's over here, way over here. On this side, that's five screws holding the battery down. Unless I missed something, and I did. It looks like they've actually wormed one of the screws into here. Oh, and what's that? It doesn't work with a number one Phillips. You need a number zero. <laughs> Phillips to get this out and you may have to take the other one out yes you do because it's a big solid piece of metal be careful don't push too hard but you have to get it out without chewing up the screw go ahead and this connector just lifts up you can get a fingernail under and just pop it and the battery is snuck under that there's also some tape over here it looks like which is frustrating as well Come on, why do you guys tape the battery? Really? Tape. Tape, tape, tape. So the battery was taped there. Oh no. Oh no. So guess what? There is one more, but guess where it is? Just 
tucked under under the motherboard oh boy can we just lift it and slide it out from underneath ah yes we can so get that tape off it looks like we should be able to slide it out. please don't make me do this you're gonna make me do this aren't you yeah so uh oh that's dirty this screw goes through it I see it now this screw goes through it the screw on the I.O. side of the cable goes right through it. So take that screw out. Maybe you can get the whole thing out. Yep, you still have to pull the cable up, though. And I missed a battery screw over here. There are so many of them. Oh, thank you so much, Asus. I, I want nothing more than to have to take a bunch of bizarre screws out to get one stinking battery replaced. Oh, that's so generous of you. What would I do without you? New battery. Man, this battery came with some weird directions saying discharge it to 3% periodically and stuff. It's like, no, don't, don't discharge it to 3% periodically. Don't do that. That's stupid. You don't do that. <laughs> You're not supposed to discharge lithium ion batteries like that. I don't care. Like they think it's some kind of calibration. Don't do that. The best thing to do for lithium ion batteries is to just leave them plugged in all the time. Oh, great. So th this is fun. This piece of plastic over here is just the slightest bit not right. You have to pull it a little bit to get it to fit. It, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't go down without a little pull. So you're gonna have to pull this stinking generic battery over just a tiny bit to get it to seat to make sure that these screws will seat it's it's molded ever so slightly out of the tolerances required look at this nonsense yeah I like to get screws in before I plug the battery back in if I can uh, sometimes I can't yeah, it's going to be a major problem if it's off over here. I don't think it's off over here, though. It looks looks to be off on the other side, not here. And perhaps getting the other screws in will do something to maintain it. Keep it from wobbling around. Yeah. All right. Now, here's a good question. Was there a screw here when I first got here, or was it somewhere else? Because there's just so many. Oh, no, it definitely went right there. And at this point, let's worry about these little screws here. Then go to these connectors, push the connector itself down, then worm the screw back in over here. There we go. That is a very fine thread on that screw. Okay. Get this connector to snap. You heard it snap, right? Yeah. Pull over our screws. Hook this connector down. Maybe don't drop them if you can help it. Um, I have it on good authority that not dropping screws is very helpful while reassembling things. Yeah. Yeah, this new battery is just the tiniest bit sketchy. Uh, okay. That seems good. I'm gonna blow this out real fast. It was clean. Don't know how they managed to make it clean. Woo, but it's clean. All right, you know that piece of metal? I'm gonna move it back again just to make sure that it's all the way back. Right, come on, stay back, Betty. Stay back. Yeah, there we go. And let's get this battery connector down. Line it up. Snap it down, nice and tight, below the level of this metal fin here, and then pull the metal thing back toward you. Here, come on. Hmm. This, this would be an area where using the metal pry tool is perhaps not the best choice. Or any metal tool for that matter. What with the fact that, you know, it's a battery connector. 
but my problem is this metal thing uh, it doesn't move very much yeah I don't think it's supposed to either so it may seem like it didn't move but it definitely did if it overlaps the white connector at all then you've done the job correctly okay while we're in here check hinges make sure the hinge screws are tight don't crank them but that was loose it spun freely that was also loose it spun freely so these hinges this computer's probably seen its fair share of opening and the hinges were actually falling apart we'll be sure to tell the customer so they're infinitely grateful to us and there we go snap it down all right, let's put those big chunky screws back in the corners. Come on now. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and tuck these screwdrivers away. And the rest of it is just reassembly. It's um, these miserable T5 Torxes that drop on the ground really easily. And uh, well, you know how to put screws back in. I'm gonna find that one I dropped on the floor. Have a good one, thanks for watching.